Hello, Nari McDiamond for MiningNews.net, and I'd like to welcome Alex Passmore, Chief Executive with Aura Gold, which recently announced a high-grade resource update at its flagship project. But before we get into those details, Alex, how do you best describe Aura to a potential investor? Hi there, Nari. So Aura is an advanced gold explorer. We're capped at a thirty-five million market uh, cap. We listed on the ASX under the ticker OAU. Uh, the projects that we have are in the Murchison region of Western Australia. It's an advanced um, region and well-known region in terms of gold exploration. Uh, we're one of the largest landholders. So the Murchison region has 35 million ounces of past production uh, and known resources of gold in it. Uh, and you know, it's a fairly, fairly um, a hotly contested uh, ground position and, 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 ground, and, and getting tenure in the region is difficult. Uh, so we're very happy with the assets that we've got. Well, speaking of known mineralisation, I referred to the resource update at Crown Prince at your flagship project, Alex. What are the highlights of this project? Yeah, sure. So the Crown Prince project is a small part of the broader Garden Gully gold project that Aura has in the Murchison region. So Crown Prince sits on a granted mining lease. We have native title agreements in place really well serviced in terms of um, the hall roads and potential infrastructure. We're about 20 kilometres to the north of Nika Sarah. Uh, and, the, and the resource uh, that we uh, updated the market with uh, a couple of weeks ago shows that there's likely to be a really um, high return in terms of economics project here. So uh, the overall resource sits at 240,000 ounces of gold uh, at 4.1 grams. But within that, there's 164,000 ounces uh, all sitting in one high grade load of 5.2 grams. Uh, and and these, these, those sort of grades are really, really impressive when you consider um, that this material starts from surface, has never been mined, the southeastern zone has never been mined. Uh, and, you know, it's likely to be a really, really profitable open pit, all, all, sitting, on a, all sitting on a mine lease and, and not taking much time to, to get into production. So with this fresh information to hand, Alex, what's the company's focus in 2024? Sure. So we're drilling, uh, we're drilling extensions to that resource. So, so first of all, you know, we see 240,000 ounces just the start of this project. Uh, but we're also looking at um, some, some of the technical aspects uh, that will be needed when we move this towards production. So metallurgy of the gold ore, uh, what sort of recoveries we're likely to see and we're really liking what we see uh, from that test work so far uh, and some of the other uh, more technical aspects you need to work through uh, to go into production. So that is, you know, geotechnical aspects and hydrogeological aspects and, and making sure we're de-risking the project. So growth and, and de-risking are the, are the two um, key uh, work areas for 2024. What would you like people to understand about Oral Gold's leadership team, Alex, as you take this project forwards? Sure. So we, you know, we're an explorer. Uh, we we have a fairly um, small uh, but very experienced team. We've been discovering uh, new resources uh, very rapidly, and so you know, the the, man, the leadership team bring a variety of different uh, experiences to the table. So you know, our board uh, is very experienced. Um, you know, myself, I'm a geologist with with a, a long history in finance, uh, and we've got some great geologists working on the project. And then finally. For anyone looking to invest in a gold company, why do you believe they should pick Aura Gold? Well, in terms of uh, valuation, you know, uh, we, we are we consider ourselves to be you know very attractively valued, uh, given the the grade that we see in our ore body, uh, and given the um, relatively you know easy pathway way that we see to production. So, um, you know, we're in a well known area. We're in the West Australian jurisdiction, obviously, which is a you know well understood mining jurisdiction uh, with high grade, highly economic ounces, um, you know, which we're moving towards production. Exciting times ahead, Alex. Thank you for taking the time today. Thank you, Nara.